Hey guys, it's Sean Bodley here. Um, today I thought I would talk to you a little bit about scales. Um, one of the things I like to do with my students is get them to learn to solo on a single string so that they get used to the distance between the notes. It's a lot easier to do on a single string because it's a, a linear kind of thing, whereas when you're learning a pattern, you tend to memorize it just based on what the pattern is and you don't actually you know, sort of know what notes you're playing or when you're playing them or the distance between the notes because you just play it as a sort of pattern. So, um, using the E minor scale for example, um, if we go to the bottom string, which is the E string, and we play through E minor, the notes that you would play would be E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, and back to E again. Okay, and that could continue on into a second octave up here, exactly the same thing. Um, so I'll pop up a diagram now that you should be able to see the notes of the minor scale as they appear on the guitar. Um, so the important thing with the scale is the distance between these notes. Um, the notes themselves are important, but also the distance between the notes is really important. So we've got the distance between the open E and the F sharp. And that distance in music is called a tone. So anytime you have two notes with a note that goes in between that we skip over, that's called a tone. So we've got a tone between E to F sharp. Then we go from F sharp to G, which is the next note in the scale. Now, that's one note right next to the next note, and that is called a semitone. So a tone is a big jump over a note. Semitone is right next door. So the entire scale would go like this. <clears throat> tone from E to F sharp. Semitone to G. Tone to A. Tone to B. Semitone to C. Tone to D. And then a tone back to E again. So that's tone. Semitone. Tone. Tone. Semitone. Tone. Tone. Okay, now the other cool thing you can do with this scale is dropping out two notes of the scale takes it from E minor back to the E minor pentatonic scale. So the two notes that get dropped out are the F sharp and the C. And what happens there is once you remove those notes, with the F sharp being gone, the first distance now goes from E to G. And that's quite a big jump. So that's a tone and a half, or a tone plus a semitone. So it's a big two fret gap. And the same thing happens now between B to D, because the C is missing. So we go from B to D, and it's that big two fret gap again, which is a tone and a half, or a tone plus a semitone. And it gives it a little bit more of an Asian sort of sound to it. So what I'm going to do is do a little improvisation um, soloing only on the bottom string so that you can start to hear the distance between some of these notes and it helps you uh, develop a good sense of melody and also the ability to know where these notes are just by the tone semitone sort of rule. Um, so I'm going to use this Ibanez JS2410, I'm running into a Vox Big Bad Wah. Out of that into a Boss Katana uh, Artist combo and then running through the USB recording out into Logic Pro X. Okay, so I'm just going to record it as is. If I make mistakes, hopefully you'll hear that they don't quite fit in with the backing track. There'll be the odd wrong note here and there, but we'll give it a shot. Here we go. <laughs> 